Hello, everybody. This is Chris, and this is my channel, Barnon 11970. And as always, I want to take the time to thank you for taking your time to check out one of my videos. And today I'd like to uh, focus on a subscriber comment, or at least somebody that watched this particular video I just made the other day about CNN. Um, they made a really good comment that I want to talk about because I think this is something we need to discuss. And I'll also mention my response, but obviously you could read it as well. Uh, but this is by a person named Eric Shake. So they write, I really enjoy your show, even though I don't always agree with your point of view. Now, about the petition to take CNN off the air, my theory is that this could be another false flag setup where the establishment sacrifices a quote unquote news agency to the wolves in order to create a scenario where it comes uh, where it becomes OK to shut down multiple news sources, including alternative media thereby effectively snatching more of our rights from us. Isn't it better that we as, and then it no longer says anything else, so I guess it might have got shut off. But basically he's saying, could this basically be a Pandora's box situation where it could end up, they could have an excuse to take down any news organization, including the quote unquote alternative news. So I wrote, and I'm going to talk about it a little bit more with you, says we can only control what we do. We cannot control what others do. All I know is that CNN and others, but you got to start somewhere, uh, has to go. And if they try and eliminate all news, then the people should step in, too. The idea is for us to pay attention and no longer just sit back and take it. It is time for actions. Thanks for a great post. So I can totally understand where he's coming from, where they say, well, if you're getting rid of one, what's to stop them all of a sudden have justification to get rid of everyone? Well, if left unchecked, they probably could go in that direction if they wanted to. The thing that we need to do now is to no longer just sit back and say, well, you know, they're the professionals. They know what they're talking about. They're saying they're taking care of it. So we're just going to sit back and let them do what they're doing. The idea is we have to become more diligent. We have to check up on people, even Donald Trump. You know, like I've said in many videos, he is the president of a corporation. This is not something that we should just forget about because we might like the person or dislike the person. The idea is to call the task, task to anybody. And that's why I think some people on the left just don't seem to understand that, that when most of us had a problem with people like Hillary Clinton and Obama, it's not because they were a, either a woman or of a different skin color. It's because they were not in touch with the majority of people and their needs. And we were tired of them always helping the elitists become more and more wealthy. And they were allowing news media to be basically propaganda. So if we decide, let's say the petition I did, and if you haven't signed it, I highly recommend you do. And also a note, just in case you don't know, because a couple of people have said they've, they've actually signed it and it still only shows one signature. I think from what I understand, it has to show at least 100 signatures before they'll even show that um, link is even available. So we need at least 100 signatures. So I will post the link in this video as well and in the comments section. So please, if you haven't um, signed that petition, please sign it and share it. But the point is, if we if we just sit back and do nothing, like they say, evil thrives when good men and women do nothing. So if they ever got to the point where they try to take advantage of that, we need to call them out on it. We need to make it public. We need to make sure that we no longer sit idly by and just allow people to do what they want. So it is up to us to make the difference. It is we the people. There's a reason why that major document, whether it's been forged or redone or whatever, but the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence and all that America is supposed to stand for is not a corrupt government, not a dictatorship, but we the people. That's what this is supposed to be about. So if we the people choose to ignore and we choose to just complain instead of having our voices heard, then we are ultimately responsible for what happens. So when you see a tsunami, you could sit there and complain all you want. If you don't do any actions to get out of the way, well, the last thing you're going to say is, oh, my God, this wave's about to hit me. And then you're no longer of this earth. So the point is you could complain and do nothing or you can get out of the way 
And sometimes even just informing others, if you were on that beach and you see a tsunami and most people are walking towards the empty part where the water once was, well, if you scream out, ladies and gentlemen, get off the beach because that's, that's a tsunami that's about to come. You're going to be injured. Well, you can't control if they decide to stay there and be stubborn, not believe you, or they actually run away. It's only what your voice can be heard and the fact that you made your voice heard and you didn't stay silent means you've at least given someone the opportunity to make a choice that others did not even give them as an option. So if you think of the, any government throughout the world, any petition that anyone signs, any protest, you have to understand that it do things the right way or don't do it at all. Because if you choose to do nothing, then nothing gets done. So we need to call them to task. So Donald Trump, whether you love him or hate him, especially if you do agree with the fact that he's going to try and do stuff, make sure you call him out on if he chooses not to do it. And that was the whole purpose of my petition. Whether it gets done or not, I have no control over, but at least I've made my voice heard and anybody that signs it makes their voice heard. And if we get 100,000 signatures, which I'm really hoping will happen before February 21st, well, then he has to very much at least listen to it and respond to it but at least we'll know he sees it. And if he chooses to ignore it, that should send messages. So sometimes it's just making your voice heard to see what kind of response you'll get. So I hope that clarifies that. And I, I love subscribers and people who leave comments like this. Um, as far as agreeing, not always agreeing with my points of view, that's perfectly fine. This is what the world should be about. Understanding that people have different point of views, but we don't have to chastise or kill somebody because their point of view might be different. My channel is all about not agreeing with everything I say, but having a choice to hear options so you can make up your own mind. This world has been basically leading us down a path telling us there's only one direction. And unfortunately, we chose to believe it. But the beautiful thing about any belief is you can change it. That all depends on you and what you want. So research, question things, become more independent, and do things for yourself. And you'd be amazed at how far you could go when you push yourself. So thank you very much for listening. Always appreciate any comments. If you want to thumb up the video and share it, please do. Please don't forget to um, sign that um, petition I made if you resonate with it. And please share it by either posting the video link or posting the link directly to the uh, website. And let's see if we can make at least our voices heard. Sometimes that's all you can do. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.